Hello, Pisces. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 10th of April. This is an action-packed week, and the standout aspect or connection or energy comes from the collaboration between the Sun and Uranus in the part of your scope to do with everyday resources, your sense of worth, and also to do with security. In a very positive way, it really wouldn't be a surprise if you woke up in the middle of the night and had a tremendous eureka moment about an original or inventive idea that you could start off as some kind of small enterprise. Or if you work in some kind of bigger environment, your way of looking at things can be left field enough to add real value. You won't get caught up in group things so much. You'll be able to stand back and see it and see it clearly. The difference between innovation, but also what can be gained, the tangible benefits. So a bit of genius can be around you this week. There's no doubt about that at all. With Mars also in a very persuasive part of your horoscope, one which can make you a bit restless, you're certainly needing mental stimulation. And Mercury is tracking backwards in this area too, which suggests that there could be some issues with technology or modes of transport and also everyday communications, which all need a degree of care. But on Tuesday, there is a full moon. And as much as you may come up with some inventive or novel ideas to improve your lot, there could also be some sudden expenses. Now, I don't want to alarm you about this. It may be a renewal on a, uh, an insurance policy that you've forgotten is going to ping into your email, or it could be something that someone close to you may need some support on. But the key with this week is that Venus, the planet of love, which is exalted in your sign, is still forging a difficult angle with Saturn. That's going to continue. And Saturn's in a very worldly part of your horoscope. And yet, Saturn forges a fabulous angle to the Sun in the last three days of this week. And if you really take the time to think things through, do your planning, do your research, then someone in a position of authority can be very swayed by what you have to say. However, if you try to turn on the charm and use a bit of bluff, you could find that someone in such a role could be quite obstructive, difficult, and not very warm to what you want to achieve. And of course, romantic relationships are influenced by Venus too, so we can't assume goodwill in any type of involvement this week. We all need to keep working at it. The great news for you, however, is that Venus starts to go forwards on Sunday. Now, she's going to be with you through to the 28th of April. Enjoy every moment of it, because it is going to be very helpful to you in some ways, as long as you're being realistic in the way you present your personality, your individuality to those in those positions that do influence you, whether you want to deal with these people or not. But I think the angle between the Sun and Saturn, which also goes on into the week following this one, is a chance to really take the great ideas of this week, but make them something much more substantive and can stand the test of time and win a lot of respect in the process. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.